have about 50 or so students inside at the moment. The plans are just being made as to what to do next. <laughs> well, the library is full of books that are that are endangered. You know, that are that are under severe threat of being literally terminated and um, made redundant. So part of it was to say we want to protect these books of philosophy, literature, literature criticism, music, culture, and so on, and um, and keep keep this building open tonight. You know, not let it, not let it be shut, not let it be closed, and so it's symbolically secure this place and try and protect it against uh, against what management has in store for us. What's the situation? You can speak to us here. I don't want to speak in front of everyone else, but I'll speak to you in person. Is there a reason why? Then they can go away. If you don't want to speak well, to us in front of them, then well, can they go away? Here. We can't leave here. We want, to, we want to stay here and speak collectively yeah. together. Well, we're quite prepared to come in and speak to you, that's what we're saying. Yeah, we right. can speak to you here. Yeah, this is fine. Right, okay. Well, who's, um, who's seen a copy of the injunction? I haven't seen it. You haven't seen it? So who went to court then to hear about the injunction that was being issued in relation to this building and so obviously people not able to come into this building. Who went to court? I didn't know there was a no, oh. We didn't know anyone was invited. Yeah, well, it's in the High Court of Justice um, and obviously if it's to do with yourselves, it's, then obviously you're entitled to go there, aren't you? I didn't know that. Yeah. I thought you said there was a copy of this injunction you signed here. Yeah. On all the buildings? Yeah. Inside the building as well? Right, okay. and was this an open invitation to call when, no. when the injunction was... No. 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 We had no idea no, about that. No invitation. Right, okay. Name's Bobby. Um, I come from Northampton University to represent the philosophy department there and the Northampton students there to support Middlesex University students. I think there's far more to education than just your piece of paper that makes you money and we're only here for the jobs and things. And I think philosophy um, gives a lot to society. Um, we're independent thinkers, and it does worry me to why this university wants to stop in, you know, people becoming independent thinkers and why they've singled out the philosophy as a whole in the first place. I know that was so ahead of his time. <laughs> okay, we look. We have the money. We want to pay you. We just, we just need to find a way for you to be able to get down to the library. The security guards would give you the money on our behalf. Okay, well, th will they, can, can one of them come down here and escort, escort one of us? I will come, but, I, but they won't let us, they won't let us, the security guards here won't let us go. That's the problem. Okay, um, I understand, I understand. We want, we want to pay you. Is there a way I can pay you with a credit card? Okay, we have the cash right here at the library. Well, I mean, it's in my hand. It stopped. This is like a spot here as well. Thank you. Right. 
Just leave it on the floor, mate. Don't worry. Leave it on the floor. You can put Brilliant. Thank you. Can I just give the man his, the money? Can I? Oh, sorry, so sorry, but can I give you um, some money for thank for doing that? That's, thank you. Thank you very much. And this is also why we're doing what we're doing here. So if you Just want to read it. Yeah. Okay. No. So sorry. No. Yeah, I'm sorry for the trouble. Oh, this one's a Sorry, man. Man, Sorry, take me. Oh, I don't think you'll deliver to Middlesex ever again in your life. You <laughs> must work, come oh. back. <laughs> Same as our country. Not exactly. different, you know? Exactly. Where are you from, my friend? Short president. Strong president, you understand? <laughs> Thank you very much. Ahmadinejad. Good office. Yeah, so... We occupied the booth, we got in here by 6.30, 6.15, and um, by 7 I guess there were somewhere around 50 people, and there were people from different programs in uh, the arts and education. So we've managed to broaden it out and appeal to a bigger group of people at the university who all have the same basic interest and the same concern about their future. Yeah, yeah. Or, which is... Yeah.